My name is Alex Cecilia. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to draw hair in Illustrator. So I've already drawn my head shape just so that I have something to draw my hair on. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'm going to lock this layer. So you go to your layers and you just click the lock button. And if you can't find your layers, you can always just go to uh, Window and Layers is right there. Um, so what I'm going to do is draw the hair. Now, the trick to using Illustrator is you're going to want to draw your hair in sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start off with a basic shape. And if you've got a uh, pen tablet, this makes it a little bit easier. Um, So there I've got one side of the bangs. Now I'm going to adjust this and you can go to the direct selection tool if you don't like your shape and you can select one of the anchor points that is on your drawing and you can just move it a little bit. Um, and actually I'm just going to make it so that, uh, there we go, it's connected. Okay, so if your shape is properly connected, um, and it may not be, um, you're going to want to just make sure that it's connected. Um, and then I'm going to actually redraw this because you're just going to want it in one I used a mouse just because. Uh... Okay, so I'll just make a basic shape, and this shape I'm going to actually shrink it down. And the way you know that your shape is connected, when you click it and you fill it, it actually fills it with color. So just remember that. Um, now I'm going to actually lock this layer and hide it. And the way you hide your layer is just to select this button, which will have an eye showing if it's showing, and if it's not, it'll be invisible. And then, so I'm going to create another layer and put it underneath the head and start drawing my hair. Now, I'm going to give this person a very basic haircut. Now. I'm going to actually hold down Option and make sure you have the Selection tool selected. Um, and just copy it. And then hold down Control, go to Transform, Reflect. And this will make it so that you can make a direct reflection of this image. All right, so, all right, so then what you're going to want to do is these are two separate pieces. So you're going to want to select both and go over to your Pathfinder window and select Unite. And this will make it so that you have a full shape and not just like a piece of shapes. So then you can adjust uh, how, how big or how small your hair is. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because it's too, too small. OK, and then I'm going to go back to this layer. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to. Actually, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it visible, but I'm still going to have it locked. And then I'm going to create another layer on top of that for the next part of the bangs. And just make a very basic bangs shape. And depending on the style of hair you're making, it can turn out a little different. All right, now what I'm going to do is this now these are all solid shapes. And the way I'll check that, as I said before, just fill it. Great. So then I'm going to select my locked shapes and fill those with the same color. And select that one. OK, so you still have this problem of the head is the same color as the hair, and that can probably frustrate you a little bit. So easy to fix. Unlock your head and select the ellipse and just fill it with the uh, color you want. Oops. 
And actually what I think I've done here is, yep, and now you've got your basic hair shape. And that is how you draw hair in Illustrator. My name is Alex Cecilio. Thank you.